Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. And today, let's start with a question. How much do you know about zero waste sewing? Now, hold that thought. So a few weeks back, I shared with you that I have this absolutely gorgeous ready to wear sweater, which was a gift from my mom. And I thought, you know what? I would absolutely love to copy that and make another one for this fall winter season. But then it's really easy, really straightforward. So I thought to myself, how about we turn it up a notch and make it zero waste sewing pattern? And that's what I'm on a mission to do today. Okay, for starters, what is a zero waste sewing pattern? That is basically a pattern that either has very, very, very little amount of fabric waste after you cut all the pattern pieces, or it has none of the fabric waste. So basically when you look at a zero waste sewing pattern, it's like a giant puzzle. And um, it's a no joke making a zero waste pattern because it involves a lot of logistics and a lot of considerations. That's why I picked this sweater to sort of dabble into that topic because I've been fascinated by it for a while, but I also have sort of like a love-hate relationship with it. I'm sure we're gonna talk about it later. But first, as always, I try to look at the garment in terms of shapes that it's constructed from. So basically, if you look a little closer, you will see that this whole sweater is constructed from large rectangles. Two will be for the front and the back, and two will be for each one of the sleeves. Now, since fabric plays a really big role in the construction of a zero waste pattern, this is the one that I'm going to be using. All right, so this knit, let me tell you, it is, hold on a second, it is, uh -huh, about 64, 65 inches wide. So that's where we have the challenge, utilizing the width of the fabric and making your design work together with it and therefore adjusting, finding solutions and all that good stuff. The other challenge of it, of course, is making it as zero waste as possible. So let's see if I can do that. First step for me here is just to simply copy the pattern of the existing sweater. This is really straightforward to do. I've done a ton of tutorials on my channel with a very similar drafting concept. So if you like this sweater, how it turns out at the end, if you want to repeat something like this, then you will be able to do that without a problem. Okay, so it's close to midnight, but I think I have it all finalized and figured out. So tomorrow is the sewing day and the moment of truth. Well, good morning, my dear sewing friends. So let's get this done. You see how uneven it is? Yeah, that's how they cut it at the fabric store. So I have to clean that up first. Better. Okay, so this is the plan. It is on paper though, so we'll see how it translates onto fabric. But I'm working with a piece of fabric that is about 64, 65 inches wide and one yard long. My fabric is actually longer, so that measuring tape right over here, that's a one yard mark of that fabric piece. So the goal is to fit an entire sweater into this little rectangle right over here with minimal amount of fabric waste. Okay, so I guess I can fit that in somewhat. Okay, so what I've been really trying to focus on right now is the geometric pattern of the fabric itself, which I didn't really take in the account when I was sort of planning how I will be cutting out the pattern pieces. But the good news is that if I cut one bodice on this side with minimal adjustments and the other one on this side, again, with minimal adjustments, then I can cut the sleeve from the middle part where I'm currently sitting at and that should work out and I won't be creating any extra fabric waste by trying to fit the pattern pieces um, in a certain way so that way the geometric pattern makes sense. So you see here this is the center front of the pattern piece and here's a little diamond 
and here's a little diamond and I would like the center front line to fit right in the middle of those diamonds because that would make the most sense and that would be the most attractive for cutting that fabric and the edge of the pattern is just a little bit off the edge of the fabric so we are going to make it work. And actually cutting the sleeves in the middle of the two bodices gives me this perfect little pattern line right over here. You see there's a diamond, there's a diamond, there's a diamond. So it forms like this perfect center of the sleeve for both of the sleeves, which is just amazing. Yes, 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 yes. I love when things just sort of align, fall into place. So I think I have it all figured out on the paper and in my head. There are a couple of things that are still sort of up in the air, but I know that I can figure them out as I go. So at this point, I think I just have to, I just have to do it. This little appendix piece right in the middle, that's where I'm going to be cutting the sleeve. And it turns out that I have to make the sleeve a tad bit wider than my original design. But you know what? We're just going with it because that's that's the deal of a zero waste design. You have to work with what you have. Now these two longer rectangles, one is going to be as an extension to the sleeve or maybe a sleeve cuff and the other one uh the other one might become a neckline but we'll see we'll see all right so when we talk about the assembly the actual sewing of the sweater it is easier than anything else on earth it's super simple i've done a lot of designs like this on my channel so if you want to repeat something like this there's plenty of tutorials but what i want to do in this case is i want to assemble the shoulder seams first and then i want to sort of half attach the sleeve because i want to put it on myself before i commit to the side seam so that way i can see if i like the length of the sleeve because I had to make the length of the sleeve shorter than the original design due to the layout of the fabric. So that's what I'm working with here. And from there, we'll see what kind of finishing technique would work best for the sweater. And uh, here, I think we also have to be a little bit flexible. So let's get started with sewing. So there are two ways how you can attach a sleeve. The methods are called in the round and the flat method. So in this case, we're going to be doing the flat method. All right, so the second sleeve is in. So let's take a look. What do we need to finagle around to make this work? Hey, Eva, what you doing there? You know, I don't really have an exact opinion just yet. What do I think about the length of the sleeve and what exactly am I going to do with the neckline? So I think I'm just gonna start working on the hem of the sweater and we'll go from there. Fast forward all the technical stuff like attaching the interfacing and finishing the hems, doing a little bit of hand sewing when it comes to the slits on the sides, and of course finishing up the sleeves and the neckline. And by the way, if you are a member of this channel, first of all, thank you so, so much for your support. And there will be a members extra video this weekend where we will take a closer look at this sweater. So if you are a member, definitely check out your perks. Now, 
After all of that, this is the amount of fabric waste that I have left with after completing the sweater. Now, is it completely zero waste? No, not entirely. I could have, of course, cut it as complete rectangles when it comes to sleeves and have eliminated even more fabric waste, but then it would be really too square-like. And would I wear it? Mm, probably not. Then that zero waste sweater would become 100% waste as it wouldn't be used at all. And just like anything else in life, we have to make thoughtful and sound decisions that make sense for us. So, are you ready to see it? Ta-da! <laughs> I, I really love it. I really love it. It's nice, it's snuggly, it's comfortable, it's stylish. So this definitely takes five stars. Now I did mention beforehand that I sort of have this love-hate relationship with it. And that is because a lot of times when we do a zero waste pattern designs, they do come out a little bit bulky and a little square-like just because you really have to be flexible with the fabric that you're using and with that minimum amount of waste that you're trying to create but this one I think is ready to go now have you ever wondered what can you do with 50 little squares well if you want to find out then click on the video that you see on your screens right now we'll be making a gorgeous jacket thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video